Comparative medicine, or one medicine as we sometimes call it, um, has increasingly gotten more attention. Uh, in 2008, the American Medical Association and the American Veterinary Medical Association came together and agreed that One Health, or the fact that humans, animals, and the environment are inextricably linked, uh, was an important thing that we need to come together and, and uh, solve problems together that affect all of those three areas. So one medicine is one part of that. So comparative medicine, or one medicine, um, is a growing interest, and uh, but one that we need to continue to cultivate. We are seeing more and more that uh, institutions that have comparative medicine medical medicine programs, for example, at their veterinary medical school, are reaching out to their human counterparts to make sure that they are talking and working together to solve problems. But we need to continue to expand this beyond that. An example of that, um, in terms of organizing us to come together, occurred in June and uh, with uh, um, a comparative oncology conference for um, pediatric oncology and canine oncology. That was the Pause for a Cure uh, um, session that occurred in Washington, D.C. And at that summit, we had uh, veterinary oncologists as well as human oncologists as well as advocacy groups including the American uh, um, uh, Cancer Society as well as um, animal cancer groups and the Morris Animal Foundation. A, a large number of people came together to talk about the issues, talk about the problems, and start to set a stage for what are the next steps going forward. So, so it's organizations that such as the one that put that together, which was Canines and Kids, that are helping to bring people together to talk about these issues and set out the, the steps for the next stages in development.